This is Belshire Vestige spawning in the bottom right hand position. Once again, the Blue Zerg from Samsung Khan. It is the current GSL champion, Roro. His opponent from KT Roaster. Spawning as a Red Zerg on the left top position on Belshire Vestige. His name is Hitman. It's Hitman. That looks like Chinese to me and a little bit of Korean in there. Well, even the Korean was like, you know, KT. I don't know if uh, if that was a direct translation from English to something, but, you know, if you just translate the word, um, it means Flash, but, you know, not the player Flash I think he was referring to. You know, it's just trying to say KT fighting or like, you know, let's go KT. Gotcha. So Roro is up 1-0 against our opponent from KT Rosa Hitman. 1-0, and we have a tempo. Forget about the stats, we got a tempo. All right, well, it looks like KT Rolster is bringing out all the cheese today. They, uh... They're gone. pulling a Team 8, essentially. They're, they are pulling a Team 8. We're seeing that 10 pull go down. We have the double gas trick, so we can get out uh, a lot of extra, I guess, drones here. Mm -hmm. So, you know, more, more cheese, man, more mm -hmm. cheese. A little bit more economical compared to the previous game. That's true. It is. Uh, I noticed you were you were laughing during the countdown. Did they say anything we can repeat on uh, the cast here? Well, Roro was trying to say, you know, it's like, I'll make sure you get the feel of me. I'm like, <laughs> whoa, wait a minute there. Well, he was trying to say, you know, the feeling of my incredible play, but it just didn't come out right. Uh, I understand what he's saying. Basically, he's like, by the time this game is over, you are going to realize how darn good I am. Well, if you just re read it without the context, it's doesn't sound right. <laughs> uh, actually, this is really smart from uh, Roro here. Or sorry, from Hitman. Hitman. He is delaying the hatchery from his opponent, and now the wings are coming in. They yeah. are spotted, though. Mm -hmm. That also guarantees Hitman that his opponent did go for, you know, a little bit earlier hatchery, but he also knows what build he went for. You know, since the 15 hatch didn't go in time, he knows that the spawning pool has been has been gone on first, so he doesn't need to go into the main base and try to pressure. Instead, he's going to try to pressure at the natural with the circlings, or he could try to go in and try to snipe some drones. But he knows what his opponent went for. And so, uh, you know what? We've only seen uh, six zerglings built from our KT player, and now the zerglings, they are attacking here. It looks pretty even, but Roro, he's actually going to end up defending this quite well. And uh, it looks like I think he's going to get a tiny lead here, actually. Fantastic micro by Roro. It was like same number of Zerglings, and seem, it seemed like Hitman had better surround for a second, but Roro just microed it really well, and now he has a hatchery advantage compared to his opponent. What Hitman tried to do is get, go for the tempo, try to get the Zerglings out early, and if his opponent went for the 15 hatch, the greediest build, he would have done some damage before transitioning into the natural, but it didn't happen. Roro had the Zerglings out in time, and now we're, we are just going to transition into mid game. Yeah, it feels like Hitman... Well, unless one of the players decides to get out tons of Zerglings. That's true. It feels like Hitman, he kind of went... He, like, went halfway, you know. He's like, I'm going to go for this early build. I'm going to get six Zerglings, and uh, that's going to be it. I'm just going to hope it does a little bit of damage and expand behind it. So, you know, really, it's not a huge difference between the players, but uh, the gas and speed advantage is certainly going to be in Roar's favor, I feel, here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now we got the Zerglings around here trying to scout and see if he can sneak a few Zerglings inside. So now he knows if Hitman is going to go for a regular play or going to go for the cheese. Yeah, so he doesn't see any type of uh, Roach Warren or Banely nest up. So I'm pretty sure Roar is going to be very happy about that. Unfortunately, mm. getting supply back there. But look at this. Roar building a lot of Zerglings right now. And that's going to time out quite nicely because the uh, Zergling speed is going to finish uh, pretty soon as well for him. And the Zergling speed hasn't even started for Hitman. Oh, yeah. And he saw that his opponent was droning up heavily. He didn't see the bailing nest. So he knows that the Zerglings are going to hit in time before the bailings can come out. And now Hitman sees the Zerglings moving out. But does he have an answer? Does he have an answer? Oh, Hitman accidentally making a pair of drones there. Uh, while making again. some Zerglings, now he is forced to put down that Panic Spine Crawler. He doesn't have Zergling speed. He only has a pair of Queens. Also behind this, Roro getting the Baneling Nest. But, but the game can even 
finish before the Balance next can come out. Now the two queens are on the ramp doing a really nice job blocking out the Zerglings. But the problem is they're getting so low on health here. It looks like Roro, he's going to be able to take down both of the queens. They're taking a humongous advantage here. Now going into the main mineral line of Hitman. It looks like he's in a huge amount of trouble right now and just... Nothing is going Hitman's way this game. Here comes the Bailings, and now he's going to try to pressure at the natural, but Hitman, he needs to be careful. He does have the Zerglings for himself. He still doesn't have the speed, and once the Bailings come out, he's going to need to really be careful. If not, then the game can end within five seconds. That's very true there. Now the Spine Crawler is going to help Hitman uh, a bit against this attack here. Roro behind this. Uh, it looks like he's uh, getting more drones, so it won't be completely all in from him, but he's already secured a very nice advantage here. The Banelings, are they going to go straight for that spine crawler? He he's going to go for it, and there we go. Even two more Banelings are left alive, and now he's going to try to sneak it inside the main base. Yeah, the Zerglings going straight for that main base there. Now the Banelings, will they be able to connect? They're moving into the mineral line there. Another surround on that queen there, so yet another one of Hitman's queens is going to go down. It looks like this Baneling is waiting for the perfect opportunity to explode on these units, and it hits a lot of the drones there. Hitman will defend, but a lot of those drones are very weak on health, and he has already lost seven. And behind this, we have 20 more Zerglings coming out by Roro. I have to say, I don't think Roro actually prepared for this build. But those two Zerglings early in the game going inside and seeing what Hitman was going for, that gave Roro enough information and decided, well, I'm going to go for this cheese and I know it's going to work out because I know what my opponent has, I know how many drones he has, and I know what tech he has. Speaking of drones, look at the drone cap between these players. Roro at 29 compared to the 18 of Hitman. Also, uh, unit-wise, uh, both players actually are pretty even here, but I have to say, Rora is the one who seems to have the superior unit control here, moving those banelings into the main base. It looks like there he wants to get a lot of drone kills with these two banelings. Uh-oh, if those hurt drones are hit by the banelings once again, he needs to split them up. Oh! oh! Gets a lot of drums. Oh, killing so many drones there. It looks like Hitman is now down to 12 drones from 18, while Roro still sitting at a very high and superior drone count. And the supply is now 26 to 55. So now Hitman is the one who needs to kill a lot of drones, but Roro's the one on aggression, so Hitman cannot even move outside of his main base. He doesn't have that much economy to make the Zerglings either, so this is going to be a slow death for Hitman unless those Zerglings can kill a lot of drones. Yeah, now it looks like the uh, Zerglings, oh, both of them are going to just barely miss each other here. Does Roro have any defense in his main base, though? That's the real question. Well, he's going to go for the aggression right now, and the Banelings are actually going inside the main base once again. All right, the Banelings do manage to finish there. Actually, it's a better control from Hitman than Roro here, but he still will be able to snipe off that queen, it looks like. And now one Baneling finishes the Zerglings, though. They're going into the main base of Hitman, and he's also going to, at the same time, Hitman going for the natural of Roro. So the Zerglings need to do the same damage that Roro did, but that's not enough Zerglings to do enough damage. 18 drones have been killed by Roro so far, and doing a really nice job with the Queen between the spawning pool and the hatchery, but is it going to get taken out? Oh, wow, amazing micro by Roro. They're saving that really weak Queen, and these Zerglings, I think they want to try and finish it off. They're going to move in there now, but the drones, they are able to protect the 26 health on that Queen there, but it won't go down, and that's it. GG! Hitman simply too far behind in that game. Roro showing why he is a champion. Oh yeah, the split decision making right there after seeing the tech, he's like, well, I could make a lot of Zerglings, I could go for the Bailing Nest, and he's gonna have nothing against what I have. That was one of the best decision making I've ever seen. Uh, it looks like uh, a lot of the NASL boys are not gonna be getting a free dinner tonight from a certain pastor <laughs> out there. Uh, unfortunate for them, and unfortunate for Hitman's loss there. So the score, it is currently zero, or sorry, one now to two. KT Rolster still having a nice lead here, though. The next matchup, it's going to be Reality versus Flash on Newkirk Redevelopment.